Welcome back to my channel. I am currently on my drive to work and if you don't know, I am now working a nine to five job. I'm working at a big four corporate company and I am an auditor for the accounting field. I'm sitting in so much traffic right now, it's not even funny. So usually this drive from my house could be anywhere between like 30 to 45 minutes, but right now it's an hour and 15 minutes. So for anyone wondering, it's a Thursday and I don't know, I guess for some reason going in on a Thursday is not the move. Monday, there was not that much traffic, but coming home the traffic was insane Tuesday there was like a little traffic but it wasn't bad yesterday there was no traffic at all and now today there's an hour and 15 minutes of traffic so that's great it's 7 50 right now I left my house at like 7 30 I walk in the morning a lot because I have to walk to my car from where I'm parked so I got out of my house I walked it's like a 15 minute walk to my car so I like getting my steps in and it's really nice and relaxing but when it's cold it's just not nice I'm just like freezing but I'm going to drive to work I don't have a car tripod I'm only filming because I'm stuck in traffic literally not moving so when I get to work I will update you guys and tell you how my day has been going so far but if you don't know I am a Seton Hall graduate and I'm an auditor at a big four company with all that being said I'll see you when I get to work I just got to work and oh my gosh the traffic was insane this is why I like to leave early because at least if I leave early and there's traffic I won't get stressed out I'm a very anxious person and even when the smallest things happen especially like a little traffic on the highway or anything I'll get so anxious that I'm not gonna be on time and I'll just start overthinking in my head so I try really hard not to do that but that's why I like to leave early just so if there is traffic I won't freak out because I know I'll still get here in time for example I left my house at 7 30 and it is now 8 40 and I'm fine it's just it freaks me out sometimes because I'm just like oh my gosh it's my first week on the job I don't want to be late I don't want to ever be late but I wanted to give you guys a little recap of my last three days before actually going into work so I had my first day which I told you guys about so I'm not going to talk about it if you didn't watch that vlog I'll have it linked down below for you guys then I had my second day my second day was from 9 to 4 45 because we had a happy hour after my third day was really stressful it was yesterday it was my longest day we were there from 9 to like 5 15 ish i think which we actually got out early which i was really excited for so we got out at 5 15 but we were supposed to get out at 6 the traffic going home every single day is awful it's literally awful but it's fine it is what it is i don't have to go into the office a lot for my job i don't believe i think it's like only a couple times a week rather than every day which i'm really thankful for because then some days i could get the extra sleep just because then i don't have to include the commute into my morning routine now today's thursday so it's my second to last day before the weekend this weekend I have so much stuff to do but that's for another video I'm moving in my apartment next weekend and I am so excited so stay tuned for that but right now I'm going to go into work I am probably gonna go in at like 8 55 just because I do like to be five minutes early but not too early because I kind of like know where everything is now I want to tell you guys a story really quick the first day of me going into the office I had no idea where I was going and I didn't say this in my first vlog because I was so in the moment that I forgot about it but I didn't know what I was doing so I went into the office, went all the way up to, I think it was the third floor, went to the complete wrong floor. Then I went up to the office again and I went to the fourth floor, wrong floor, fifth floor, wrong floor. And I'm like, what am I doing? I couldn't figure out where I was going. So then I went to the seventh floor. I don't know why I skipped six originally, but I did. So then I was actually at the place, but I was on the wrong floor. So then I had to go on the elevator again. I finally got there. The people that were working there were so sweet. Like my coworkers are so nice. I made some friends and now I know what I'm doing and where I'm going so that's good I'm still anxious but I do feel a lot better now I'm wearing this like polo zip right now I have a blouse underneath it is just absolutely freezing so I'm wearing this like into the office also in the office it's also really cold because I think the air is still on and it was like 50 degrees and raining all week so it was freezing and it's the first day that it's sunny so I'm excited because the weather is so much better I'm going to go into the office now and I will see you guys at five o'clock or maybe on my lunch break it depends because my company's been giving us lunch so I've 
I've kind of just been chatting with my friends, but if I do have a spare moment in my lunch break, I'll come on and update you guys. It's two seconds later, but I forgot to tell you guys. I wanted to talk about really quick my food situation. So in my first vlog, I told you guys that I messed up and I didn't bring any food. We're still not on a good track, but at least I have a snack. I have gluten-free pretzels, so we're getting somewhere. Yesterday, they gave us salad and pizza, so the food choices were more in my liking. Again, I'm appreciative for all of it, but I do have my gluten-free little pretzels just in case I get hungry. And I didn't get to go to Starbucks again because it's just not convenient right now. Like, there's no Starbucks close enough to where I'm staying to get to in time unless I leave at 6.30, and I'm not doing that for Starbucks. So I get Starbucks after work, which is kind of annoying, but I'm making it work for now. It's four o'clock and I just finished, so I'm going to drive home now and I will update you guys when I get home. Well, I'm currently sitting in like an hour long line of traffic again, but I wanted to give you guys an update about my day. So my day was good today. I actually met with my team that I'm going to be working with and they were really nice. I'm really excited about it. I like meeting new people and getting to know like more connections and everything like that. So that was really cool. This line of traffic is literally so long. I have already been in traffic for 30 minutes. I'm still 30 minutes away from where I'm going and I'm not even close but today I have some things I want to do I know that me and Chad are going to bake a cake we really just like baking whenever we can it kind of like relieves my stress and so does Target I'm going to go to Target and also Starbucks in Target hold on I have to go through the easy pass that is currently what I'm doing I'm literally just sitting in a line of traffic it's actually really nice out right now I wore this jacket today because like I said before the air is always on in my office I don't know why but I'm always freezing but then when I came outside I was like, oh my gosh, I'm sweating. And today was more of like a casual day, so I could have wore jeans, but I didn't. But with that being said, I am in a line of traffic, like I said, 10,000 times, and it's probably gonna take me a while to get home. So I'm gonna sit in this traffic and I will update you when I do something. guys i'm in the car now and i got to montclair to pick up chad we're going to target we do this a lot so we're going to target now i am moving into my apartment soon and i want to try to find a kitchen mat and also look for tvs i don't know if i'm gonna buy one today but i do just want to look so i'm gonna do that and then i'm probably gonna stop home for a minute and then we're gonna go to starbucks so i'll see you when we're at target Starbucks. It's a little haul from Target. I got the super spice cake mix. It looks like this. It's like a pumpkin cake. Me and Chad are going to bake like I told you guys. Then we got cream cheese icing to go on top and I just got this favorite day bakery cookie. These things are so good. I know a lot of people are not going to agree with me but I really like them. Sometimes they're really soft and that's when they're the best but I like them either way. It's just a hand decorated cookie and in like the shape of Target and I love Target so I felt like this one was really cute to get but they also have like Halloween ones, Christmas ones, like all different types of cookies. So I'm gonna run home now and get something for my house and then I'm going to run to Chad's house and we're going to bake and then I'm gonna get ready for tomorrow so I will see you guys in a little bit We just baked our cake and I was going to make it really cute and aesthetic but I ran out of red food dye and I couldn't like mix it to be orange and I wanted to make it like a pumpkin and then put like little dots around it but I couldn't do that so I'll do that in another video. Right now I'm going to Food Town because I forgot to get what I wanted at Target earlier so I'm going to stop there. Please excuse the lighting. I know it looks bad but it's my time out and then I'm probably going to eat dinner and go from there. I think I'm going to end the vlog here just because I don't really have anything else going on throughout my night. The only other thing I do on my work nights is I try to go to sleep early I take a shower and I also kind of like make sure my hair air dry so I'll do that tonight and then I just catch up with work emails but I'm obviously not going to show that so with all that being said thank you guys so much for watching if you stayed up until this point of the video comment this emoji because I would love to know if you stayed up until this point with all that being said thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you in my next video